Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing bureaucrats, quote, hinting at what I would call totalitarian hogwash. So I came upon this, this sort of notion initially via ASEAN Now, ASEANNow.com, in an article titled, Ministry Official Hints You'll need to be vaxxed to do things in public in Thailand. To be clear, I've done a number of videos like this. I'm not anti-vaccine. I'm a really pretty big fan of vaccination. I think vaccination is kind of a modern marvel, kind of a modern miracle. It's helped a lot of folks. It's saved a lot of lives. It's, it's great. It's fine. What I have a problem with is I've never heard of a vaccine becoming the basis for really totalitarian control over people's the minutest of people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're seeing this stuff rolled out in all these Western, you know, trying to be rolled out in these Western countries. It's, it's effectively, it's kind of, I don't know what the right word is for it, but stalled kind of to some extent, or at least the broader mandates so-called in the United States. But, you know, Europe is having real issues with this. I mean, quite frankly, my, my first thought when I was going through some of this stuff is, and then looking at what's going on in Europe, I was just like, really, we don't have enough issues to deal with here? Why add more? And I don't, again, I've done cost-benefit analysis. I don't even understand the benefit garnered for the cost. In my mind, it's pretty, pretty low in terms of benefit to society if you really, if you really analyze it. But getting back to this, so this is ASEAN now, ministry official hints you'll need to be vaxxed to do things in public in Thailand. Quoting directly, the strongest indication yet from Thai officialdom about vaccination sends a strong message to anti-vaxxers or the unvaccinated. Get jabbed or be faced with being unable to do very much in public in Thailand. Quoting further, Senior Ministry of Health official Dr. Kiatpum Wangrajit suggested as much as he announced the latest figures for vaccination in Thailand he said that those that had not, and th this language just is, he said that those that had not been vaccinated would be sought out by moves originating in universities and medical arenas with provincial governors also spearheading the drive to get the job done. I, the minute I read that, I, I just, I, it was very chilling on one level. And then I thought of the scene in the film Old School, if you go back, it's a film with Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn from the early 2000s where they these grown men set up a fraternity at a university and the part where they're going around rounding up their pledges and they, they like tackle one guy in a fountain and knock him over and drag him into a van to take him off for you know to be initiated in this fraternity I mean when I saw when I read the the line would be sought out by moves originating in universities and medical arenas is like what I mean, what does that mean? So, quoting further, the message will be clear and contain a mild threat, a mild threat that if you don't have at least one jab, you won't be welcome among the rest of people. Effectively, you'll be a leper among the healthy. You know, I mean, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and there, there was another article I found in the Potty of Mail. That's pottyofmail.com. Article is titled, Thai Authorities Attracted by Compulsory Vaccination Possibilities. And by the way, for some of the trolls in the comments, Pattaya, I do get it. I have a Midwestern accent. A lot of my T's turn into D's. I'm not intentionally trying to mispronounce the word Pattaya, Okay. Again, Thai authorities attracted by compulsory vaccination possibilities. Uh, Patia Mail, patiamail.com. Quoting directly, Slowly but surely, Thailand appears to be moving towards mandatory COVID vaccination requirements. Last May, the Buriram governor required high-risk groups to vaccinate or risk jail or fines. Now, we did a video on that, and I found that truly chilling. And I, you know, it looked to me like it was a major violation of the Nuremberg Code as well. We, you know, I don't know, and I haven't done all of the analysis on that, but pretty clear to me. The um, quoting further, the Justice Ministry quoting emergency decree laws 
stated that all prison staff are required to vaccinate or to lose their jobs. Okay. Quoting further, this week the National Health Authorities proclaimed that entry by anyone into a public building would soon require vaccination. Now, I didn't see this in any kind of proclamation, but again, I think they're referring back to this, uh, to this article that Asian Now had where they were talking about you know, this hinting. I haven't, I haven't seen anything, you know, and I, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, you know, the, I haven't seen anything any more definitive than just this hinting. You know, anyone into a public building, anyone into a public building? Uh, let me get through the quotes and then, and then I'll get into this. The prediction initially seen as fake news on Thai social media was later confirmed by Bangkok's anti-fake news center. Well, that's helpful. Quoting further, at least one immigration police bureau has conducted a survey into how many of its retiree expats have already been jabbed. The notion of non-vaxxers being refused extensions of stay or renewals of annual visas is clearly not off the future agenda. Well, I don't think it's clear on any of this. Let's actually be, let me clarify that to begin with. I think there's a lot of rumor out there. I think there's a lot of, frankly, and I've said this before, a lot of hysteria out there. There's a lot of concerned people, but they get themselves whipped up into a furor, and we kind of lose, frankly, the plot. We kind of, we kind of don't see what's really going on. You get kind of lost in the fog, if you will, of the narrative. Quoting further, in Thailand, opposition to compulsory vaccination is very diver diverse. Some argue it is an infringement of human rights. I'd be the first on that train to argue that. I, I think it compelling anyone to put anything in their body is, it, it's, it's pretty creepy. Let's start there. And I think it should at least be rebuttably a presumption that it is a violation. And anyone trying to compel someone needs to overcome a pretty high threshold to prove that it isn't. And I would even go further and say, in most cases, 99.9% .9 of the time, that, over, that threshold should not be overcome. It, it, to me, yes, if there's a major cost-benefit analysis, you know, or a situation, you know, a massively dire situation. But, yeah, I know they keep calling this an emergency decree. We're in this 20 months. We know what this is. You know, we were very worried about it at the beginning, and, and they threw around a lot of numbers, but, you know, all things considered, it's clearly a manageable issue. Quoting further, others claim the vaccines are dangerous to health. I'm not going to get into all that. I don't know. You know, I, I'm a lay person when it comes to that, so I'm not even going to go there. This is, this is more a legal uh, video. Whilst conspiracy theorists believe the whole thing is a trick by insurance and medical professionals, to make a fortune out of false pandemic claims. Okay. Social media are literally, literally agog with claims and assumptions. Well, I don't want to particularly be agog with claims and assumptions here. I just kind of want to dig in and look at this for what it is. Long story short, you know, again, I've done the videos on this. I mean, it looks to me like it's a very high possibility that traffic deaths may kill more than this thing. And we're not advocating massive changes to our lifestyle with respect to traffic deaths. Meanwhile, you know, human rights are important. We've discussed the Nuremberg Code. I mean, these things, are, these things exist for a reason. Humanity, unfortunately, and in some cases inadvertently, can get itself whipped up into a situation that it is not, it's not a particularly pretty sight, what humans could do to one another. And, you know, compelling people and telling people, well, if you don't, you know, follow this command, you basically no longer have a life. You're, you know, as quoting from one of these, you're a leper. I mean, that is very scary stuff. Very scary. I mean, by any legal analysis, basic human rights, you know, that's, that's scary, scary stuff. You know, the... You know, again, I haven't seen any kind of proclamation entry by anyone into a public building would soon require vaccination proof. You know, I haven't seen that. The Look, and the other thing is, I mean, this is by definition, if they're saying that this, this applies to everyone, this is by definition totalitarianism because what about people that genuinely have health concerns? I mean, just, just look at those people. So what, they're done? 
We're just, we're just done having them in our society. You know, and I mean, whatever happened to religion in the sense that, yeah, there are people who have different religious beliefs. You know, again, do, whether or not I personally agree or disagree with them, it, it's, it, that's not really the issue. I, it used to be tolerance was the order of the day, and people tolerated that different people had different views on things. I mean, I got to be honest, you know, this is really, this is just wrong. And, and for, for folks, you know, these bureaucrats in the government to be just kind of spouting this offhand, I, 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 why? Why are you doing this? And, and honestly, to what end? I mean, I just, I just don't get it. As I've said, and look, right, wrong, indifferent. You know, I came to Thailand, frankly, when I first came here. This was the freest place I'd ever been in my life, you know, in a very real sense. You know, and I like I I love where I'm from. I came from the United States. It's a great country. It has many freedoms, you know. But Thais had such a live and let live attitude. It was just inherent, self evident kind of freedom. Like everybody just let everybody get on with it. And all of this is just such an upending of all of those notions. You know, of of the notion of live and let live. That okay, this person wants to be, you know, feels this way or thinks this way about something, I'm just going to let him get on with it, you know. And again, we've seen the quote-unquote existential threat of this or lack thereof. You know, if this was a different situation, you know, maybe the analysis would be different. But all things considered, you know, I just find this to be so antithetical to general Thai thinking. You know, that I just, I just don't understand why this is even being whispered about. It, it just makes no sense to me. And then, as I said, I kind of alluded to, you know, other countries have been trying this stuff. You know, Austria, for example, now the Dutch. And there, there's real blowback, you know. I mean, people are in the streets. There's major upheaval in Western Europe. I mean, I'm not saying that that could come here. In fact, I don't want it to come here. I like Thailand peaceful. I like it the way that it is. But, I mean... You know, do we want to do we want to court that? Do we want to invite that by by doing? I th I think we really need to at least be talking about this a lot more before we just have this hinting with the notion that we're just going to raise the curtain on a total change in how we live.